Well, he hit me first. Do unto others before they have a chance to do unto you. That's worldly wisdom, and it's not walking in the light. Hi, my name is Jason Sage. I'm the minister with the North 2nd Street Church of Christ in Clarksville, Tennessee, where you are always welcome to come and see us. We call our series Three Minute Gospels. Let's put ourselves on the clock, and here we go. In Psalm 146, David tells us, Don't put your trust in princes, not in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. But how many times do we do just that? God asks us to do something, and we think, oh, I just can't do it. I don't trust God enough to be meek or to be humble. So what do we want to do? We want to use worldly tools. We want to trust in the weapons of war or, or princes or the weapons of anger or striking out or defending ourselves before someone can possibly hurt us. Well, what does the Word of God say, and what do we do about it? Romans chapter 12 reads like this. If I begin in verse 14, it says, Bless those who persecute, excuse me, Bless those who persecute you. It's hard to say sometimes even to do. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, those are difficult words. How do we do it? You know, six times in the Gospels, Jesus says to his disciples, O ye of little faith. Well, I think that's our problem today. We don't trust God that it's going to be okay. We know what the words say. But in our human wisdom, we think, I, I, I could get hurt. I could get run over. Someone might take advantage of me. So what? Jesus came to this world and allowed us all to take advantage of him. Why? So that we might have salvation through him. Did Jesus, even though he had the power to bring home legions of angels, did he fight against what was happening to him? Did he say in his arrogance that, oh, they're going to take advantage of me? No. He blessed those who persecuted him. He asked that they be forgiven on the cross. He put God's will in front of his will. And he had enough faith and trust to know that it's going to work out. Do I trust God that if I do these things that in my worldly mind seem weak, that it'll be okay, that I'll turn out on the victorious end? In Jesus Christ, there is victory. And in total faith in him, we can do the hard things that the word of God asks us to do. That's our three-minute gospel. May God bless you as we all try to walk in his ways, blessing and not taking vengeance and overcoming evil, not with evil, but with good. God is good.